We've been training with the Air Guard members and Army Guard members, and it's been a good experience for us because we don't normally get to operate in a joint environment like that. And while we've been here, we've had several very good classes like the Sand Cyber City we participated in, and we've learned a lot of new techniques and used some new Cali boxes that we haven't used before. Uh, right now, the West Virginia C&D team is here. We're the cyber response team for West Virginia, and we also have a few personnel from the Air Guard that joined along with us. They are some internet security personnel and network security personnel. Our mission here is to try to learn the newest techniques and train in a joint environment, and it's good hands-on experience for us. So far, it's been really good. Yeah, it's been exciting. I've learned a lot of new things, and it's been enjoyable. We, uh, our team ranges from anywhere from expert level to newer, uh, new beginning level. So it's been good for us to get everybody up to the same speed on everything, and it's really been helpful for that part of it. Uh, the value we have is being able to actually exercise the skills that we've learned throughout the year, and this is a great opportunity for that. We get to come together with other states and kind of learn from what they've learned over the years and some of the mistakes they've made, and we can tell them some of the new things that we've learned. So bringing everybody together like this has been an awesome thing for us to kind of see what's out there and how people approach things differently. Our team is tasked to respond if there's a cyber incident in our state and we come in after the fact and help a, either a government entity or a company get back on their feet after a cyber attack and kind of patch the network and see where they are lacking and if they have uh, personnel issues we can kind of fill in the gaps while they're responding to the incident also.